Love and Hate, a short film. Viaduct, night. A full moon peeks between glistening steel lattice trusses. Opening credits with upbeat music. The Power of Love by Huey Lewis and the News. Caption, 1986. But suddenly, an agonised gasp and the music scratches out. Encased in a B-jam carrier bag, Baz's head twitches on a riveted steel deck as he wakes up, groggy, disorientated. His left hand twitches, but is cuffed to a metal girder. He gasps, but now hears a groan nearby and freezes. Who's that? Geraint's head jerks to and fro, wrapped in a gateway bag. Who the bloody hell are you? Let me go or I'll crucify you. Geraint's arms are stretched out sideways on the metal deck. Feels like you already have. Baz flails his head, ejects the bag and stares in horror. Oh shit. Now I'm warning you, but my brother-in-law plays rugby with the chief constable. So, you look... You dozy, dozy Welsh cunt, look. We're tied to a fucking railway track. And the track is on a viaduct spanning a Welsh valley. Oh, don't be ridiculous. But now he panics, desperately shakes off his bag and stares at the railway track, appalled. Oh my God. Is it rag week? Rag week. Oh, somebody stagnate. He's lying beside the left rail while Baz lies behind the right rail and they painfully sit up to see. Between them, on the sleepers, Lying face up in the opposite direction is a third man, tall and muscular, a Woolworths bag over his head, arms outstretched, cruciform. You won't let go of my hand. Yeah, mine too. But you ain't holding him. Super glue. Bloody super glue, innit? You got one of these fuckers too. He raises his handcuff. Up to the side of the bridge. Same by you, except I think it's a viaduct. Suppose you think it, it's an Ann Summers party now, right? A TV stunt, perhaps? Hidden cameras? What kind of TV show kidnaps people and strings them across a... Perhaps it's Channel 4. Help! 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 Help me! Help us! Help! Help! It's kind of hopeless. We're in the middle of bleeding nowhere here. Reckon it's the way valley I do. I rest my case. Fucking Yoda. This track takes our coal away to England. Well, since that bloody Thatcher woman decimated the mines. Never like mind you. all of that shit. Who the hell is this? Jeremy fucking Beetle. I think he might be dead. Christ, I'm a bite. Look, someone's trying to kill us. Except they're nothing funny like, but we aren't actually on the track, are we? It's this and by you who's in trouble. So, if we just... Slowly, cautiously, he pulls his left hand towards himself, bringing the third man's left hand with it, so the man's wrist lies on the rail. Geraint's hand is now safe. But, uh... But... Okay. I mean, well, he's dead anyway, so. Isn't he? So, all we need to do is just lie here, and we'll be fine. They lie back on the deck, so can no longer see each other. He'll be fine too, but to sort of. If he weren't already dead, like. He notices the man breathing, but did Baz see? Still have his elbows, won't he? He notices the man sighing, but did Geraint see? It isn't our fault. Someone's done this to us. But why? The man snores. Baz and Geraint scowl in annoyance and feign surprise. Christ, uh, he, he's alive. No, you're right. Um, must be drugged or perhaps we should wake him up then. He could help. He looks uh, strong. Or we uh, just let him sleep it off, eh? He does look strong. Stronger than us. They gaze at the man's brawny arms lying on the rails and gulp. Um, about this glue. I mean, I'm only saying, but if we just pull. 
Yeah. Come on then. Uh, three, two, one. He tries to pull his glued hand, but gasps in pain, and now realises Geraint isn't doing it. Oi, oi, Savaloy, come on, what, what about you? My point is, both of us doing it. What it is, is we only need to break the link in one place. Then I can pull him over by you, and we're all safe, tidy darts. Shit. No, wait, 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 quick. His fingers. His knuckles. Uh, is there a tattoo? Too dark, in it? Uh, oh. No. What does it say? It says, love. And by the hip, please. That side, what does it say? The same. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. It's the same. That's it. Flashback to exterior summer sky day. A handsome young Gwent police constable beams a radiant smile, swathed in fantasy lens flare. And back to viaduct night. He's been seeing both of us. It's them. Done this, his evil brothers. Bastard brothers. Road near pit, dawn. Silhouetted in the mist, two burly coal miners block the way, hefting rusty scaff bars. It's just because he likes a bit of coal. Underpass, night, sodium lamps flicker as daffids hurled into the gutter. Not just that, though, is it? Picket line, day. On riot duty, daffid bravely raises his shield against a barrage of bricks and stones and coal. They call him a traitor, but they betrayed him. Underpass, night. As a dozen booted feet walk away, Daffid splutters and gasps, coughing up blood, as we dissolve back to exterior viaduct night. So much hate, while he has only love. Enough for two, perhaps. Look it up. I won't let those bastards win. Then pull your hand, break the link, save him. But I can't. It'll only hurt for a moment. It'll rip me, it'll rip my fucking skin off. Our skin. Skin grows back, hands don't. But the blood. Don't you see her? My blood. Hellfire. You got that. For all these years, we, we, we've been so safe. Every time I've kept him. Safe. You'll have to do it. Please. For him. Grint stares at his glued hand, mind racing in horror. You sure he don't have it, too? Don't. For fuck's sake! Grint grits his teeth and makes to pull. I can't! He'll only hurt for a moment. But it's going to wake him up, isn't it? Even if he is drugged, he won't sleep through that. And then if he tries to sit up when the trains come in. You, you just don't, you just don't want, I'm, I'm awake. Because, well, look, he's stronger than you. But he isn't like that. He just wouldn't. He's kind and gentle. And if anything, he'd, well, you know. Hand trembling, he gently rests Daffid's wrist on the rail. For us. Christ, you know what, you make me want to puke. Because yeah, you're, you're right, he would. But that don't mean he should. Well, no. Not both of them anyway. Jesus. So one of us would have to... I mean, it'd be terrible to lose one hand, but... Go on, then. Go on. Put, put your arm on the fucking... Well, I was thinking more. You. Christ's sake, just rip your skin off. Okay, chop your hand off, you, you, you cheeky cunt. It's my right hand. I, I'm, I'm right-handed. It's your left hand. I'm left-handed. Well, I, I play the clarinet. I play the piano. Well, you can still do the high bits. Of course. He's right-handed too. 
Buzz stares at Daffod's right hand, food to his own. Is he? Well, probably. Law of averages. Jesus fucking Christ. Look, it's, it's a test. A test? Yeah, all of this. Uh, those cycles just want to prove who don't really... Those cycles just want to prove we don't really love him. Make us, well, you know. But I do. I do really love him. He's my lovely boy. And you screw him, yeah? Well, yes. And you? He screws me. Huh. Maybe his way of being, I don't know, faithful to both of us. Or maybe he just can't take me, eh? Like, well, he takes mine, all right. Yeah, maybe, yeah. but maybe he can't take mine. He takes mine, all right. All right. Perhaps if we get out of this alive, the three of us could... Yeah. <clears throat> but uh, you do love him. Yeah. No more than anything. And so do I. And you're right. He shouldn't lose both hands. Like he shouldn't lose either. He slowly lies down beside the track. Shame though. Dad left me this watch. He places his own wrist on the rail. Daffod's hand is safe. I said, Trick, I don't trust you. Good. Maybe you'll do it instead. Because <laughs> I don't know if I can. I'll pull my hand, rip the skin. Too late for that, mate. Look, I can, I, I can feel it coming. His watch is vibrating on the rail. This is all we got left now. Geraint stares in horror along the viaduct as a horn echoes through the valley. And now, grim realisation. It's a bloody coal train! Never mind all that shit. Just, Christ's sake, keep low. As the rumble grows, Geraint lies down, so he can no longer see Baz. He angles Daffod's hand to read the tattoo. Love. Oh, Daff. I love you so much. He loves us too. He loves us both. Never doubted it. The train's on the bridge. But please, are you doing it for love? Are you doing it? Yes. No, no, I can't say, can I? I might be. Are you? A deafening horn. I, I, I can't trust you and, and you and you can't trust me. A shriek of brakes. For love. Perhaps. For love. Maybe. A blinding light. For love. For love. And white out.